Good Monday morning, Bob Brooks here. It's a beautiful day in Iowa. It's cold. I got my coffee here. And today I want to talk about a critical, imp critically important, important, important part of affiliate marketing and network marketing that most marketers miss. But before I tell you what it is, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell down there and help me grow this channel so we can help more people do it the right way. So what is the one thing that most of us are missing in our network marketing business that's really slowing us down that if we change this one thing will make you a leader in the industry. It's follow-up. Simply put, it's follow-up. Most marketers don't do any follow-up and the ones that do some follow-up, it's very poor. And what I mean by do some follow-up, I'm talking about the autoresponders. When somebody opts into your capture page, most autoresponders go out with nothing but drip emails about the opportunity and how much money they can make and uh, <laughs> all the good things it'll do for them. And it's not really a follow-up because follow-up is more about connecting with the person, uh, getting to know that person, them getting to know you. Because if you really want to build a business, it's all about know, like, and trust. And when your team starts knowing you and trusting you and you know them and you know how to help them, there's a whole different avenue that opens up for you in building your business. Now, the old days, we used to have this method. You know, you talk to somebody about your opportunity and you couldn't get them signed up that night and they want to think about it. And you're like, I'll get back with you. The most common thing was people never got back with them. Why? Because they almost knew the no was coming. A self-fulfilling prophecy. They're going to say no, they're going to say no, and you're all negative, and you, don't, you never call them. Well, you got your no, because you never called them. But it didn't hurt as much because they didn't say no. The truth is, if you had a positive mindset and realize this is for everybody, and you're there to help them and not sell them, you're going to want them to say yes because you truly want to help them. And then you pick up that phone. Now, you might have to call them five, six, seven, eight times. But you're going to have a better team member once you bring them on board because you've gone through that process. The follow-up is so critical. When you're doing an autoresponder, your messages should be more about a little, a little about you so they get to know you and more about content of value that will help them if they want to make money online or from home. And it should be information they can use, something of value, maybe an ebook, maybe a PDF. Maybe you don't have anything. You can offer a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Why don't you call me? I'll plug you into somebody. Maybe you can plug them into an upline that can talk to them also. The follow-up is the key to your business. You have to be following up. If you're not, you just cut off half your business. You cut it off. And the ones you do get with no follow-up, come and go. They, they're here today. They're gone tomorrow. So I always tell people the follow-up is the key. Now, one of the methods you can use is pick one day for follow-up. And if you're growing a significant team, I know it's hard to follow up with all your team members. It's hard to follow up with the new people. So maybe you start hosting a meeting. I host one on Saturday, so all the new people, all the people have been around, that we can all get together on my Zoom on Saturday. It is, it, it is every Saturday. I got the link down below. But they can come on Saturday, and then they can ask their questions. I can do some training, uh, have some other people on. We can all share thoughts, tips, strategies, and then we can do some follow-ups and what's, what do you need to, what do you got to work on, what can we help with, that sort of thing. I heard another guy use a technique called Follow-Up Friday. And I'm going to start implementing Follow-Up Friday on my leads. And every Friday, instead of promoting, I'm going to take Friday and make that a day where I follow up with people that I've connected with, but I haven't gotten back to. You know, you do Messenger. I do a lot of that where I message people. We get in conversations. And then the conversation stops. Well, now on Fridays, it's going to be follow-up Friday where I'm going to get back. Hey, it's been about a week. I haven't talked to you. Just wonder how your week went. And I'm going to keep the conversations going on Friday and make it follow-up Friday. So the key thing to our business is if we really want to become the rock stars and really want to explore our business, we need to follow up. So that's what I got for Monday. I uh, hope you have a great day. I hope you warm up. I'm going to drink my coffee now. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you on Wednesday.